Okay, so welcome to the next matchup, and today I have got the Biosan Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen, and they're going against the Aveno Positively Mineral Sensitive Skin Sunscreen. Uh, and really quick, I want to mention my friend from the UK. This is her beanie baby. It's super cute. And you know what, the little things, you can go backwards with them. You know what's that? Isn't that cool? Anyway... Sorry about that. I digress. Okay. So that is my Patreon. Oh, I'm losing another Patreon. There we go. Don't want to lose any Patreons. Okay. Uh, and really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check out my Patreon community and get your beanie baby. Uh, or check out the link below. So, okay. So this will be an interesting matchup. I think I matched these two up because they both have blue in them <laughs> i don't know like the last matchup derma e and akira they seem to be sister brands in a way not really sister but uh anyway so whoever wins this matchup will go on to face the akira so let's get going okay my first criteria is denatured or drying types of alcohol the biosense product which is this is their newer sunscreen they had a previous sunscreen which was a little sparkly or shiny i guess i'll just say that but this is their newer version does not contain any denatured drying types of alcohol meanwhile the avino which is marketed towards sensitive skin does contain uh phenethyl alcohol which is an alcohol that gives things a bit of a aromatic fragrance to it so typically in very very small amounts is not a huge issue but for very sensitive skin which is marketed to could be an issue so keep that one in mind so uh, Biosance got the point for that. Uh, in terms of fragrance, the Biosance has no fragrance ingredients and no noticeable scent. Uh, the Aveeno has a slight noticeable scent, which is probably from that phenethyl alcohol, which uh, I'm not going to ding them on both alcohol and fragrance, but uh, it does give it a bit of a scent, which dissipates and is not super noticeable. So um, for that, I gave Biosance uh, to the point just because it doesn't have any scent at all, which is nice. Uh, for the man, Lincoln, he's going to come close, but not close enough. Okay. Uh, the manufacturing location, these are both made in the U S so no issues with that texture. So let's get down to the texture. We'll see if Lincoln approves of either of these. So the Biosense. it's got a really nice, like moisturizer, like texture to it, which uh, makes it pretty it smooths pretty easily it doesn't take a lot of effort to really work it into skin but the light texture is nice because it absorbs pretty quickly see how fast that was that was nice quick smooth and easy there we go and it sets to a uh just a very very slightly sticky texture uh, which does have the tendency to transfer just a bit but it's not out of control like some other ones i've tried but it is just a little bit slightly sticky the avino this one has kind of a th also kind of a liquidy cream texture but it is thick and it really does require a ton of effort to work into skin and it sets pretty quickly so you gotta work fast with this one and really smooth it over skin if you're gonna pick this one up or use this i'd recommend applying it onto your face one section at a time so you can really work it into your skin. Otherwise, if you smooth it all over your entire face, parts of it will begin to dry before you have time to really work it in. So there we go. See, that did take a lot longer. But anyway, so it's got that thicker texture. And uh, anyway, it does set to a matte finish, which is uh, not really sticky, but just, just a little sticky, I guess seems to be a commonality but it doesn't transfer as much so well you can definitely see the difference uh, then in terms of the white cast obviously the biosense has a very very light white cast and the more you work it into skin it really does set to be pretty much invisible i've read a lot of reviews from those with deeper skin tones and a lot of them mentioned that they didn't notice any white cast for this product and there were a couple of people with deeper skin tones that did mention they noticed a slight cast or a slight purple hue. 
So, I don't know. It seems like more of them than not thought it really was mostly invisible. So that was the good point. The Avino has a pretty strong white cast. And in my opinion, it's close between this one and the Dermot E, which one has the most noticeable white cast. But the Avino has definite white cast. So for that, I gave the point to Biosans, which are so far kicking Avino's little butt. Then we get to filters. So the Biosense has 14% zinc oxide, SPF 30, and a PA with three pluses after it, which means it has very good UVA protection. Although they didn't really have to even disclose that, they chose to, which I like. Aveeno is 21.6% zinc oxide, SPF 50, and they're saying broad spectrum coverage, which just means basically it's good enough for the U.S. to say it's broad spectrum, which doesn't require very much. Keep that one in mind. But overall, the Aveeno just has a little bit higher SPF rating, so I gave them the point for that. But uh, that one's pretty close anyway. But 50 is higher than 30, so if it's a big concern, that might be the way to go. However, with broad spectrum, you don't really know how great a UVA coverage it does. You just know it's acceptable. Okay, so then we get to ease of use. So the Biosense... In my opinion, very easy to apply. It feels just like a moisturizer. Reapplication of it throughout the day is very easy and no problem. And I had no issues with pilling. The Aveeno takes a lot of effort to smooth it into skin, especially if you're going to use a liberal application of it, which you should be. Uh, it can pill, and the more you attempt to smooth it in to get the white cast to go away, the more likely it is to pill. So... I think overall, the ease of use went to Biosense hands down, pretty handily. Hands down, handily. Okay, beneficial ingredients. So for the Biosense, we've got squalane, water, white water lily, which is skin conditioning and moisturizing ingredient, ethyl ferulate, which is a form of ferulic acid, uh, lecithin, sodium palmitol, proline, which is a good hydrating ingredient, and it really has four outside of slip ingredients and everything else. So real four additional beneficial ingredients, which isn't a whole lot. Then we get to Aveeno. And, you know, we've seen some with 12 or 13 beneficial ingredients. So I thought well, once Biosons had four, I thought the Aveeno was going to do a good job with this. But with the Aveeno, we've got oat kernel extract, vitamin E, and fever few extract, which means they have three. So Biosons barely won that one which is kind of sad that it won with that few beneficial ingredients. But what are you going to do? I don't know. Sunscreen, I think beneficial ingredients are like the key to making it better. You know, I mean, if you are just going to include this one active ingredient, then throw in some really great antioxidants and things like that. But I guess I didn't make the sunscreen, so what am I going to do? Okay, then we get to acneogenic ingredients. The Biosense does have a few. Squalane, Cetera alcohol, has four different fungal acne triggers such as sorbitin olivate, uh, acetyl palmitate, polyglycerol 3, polyrectoliate, and isosteric acid. Then we get to the Aveeno, and this has glycerol behenate, which is a fungal acne trigger, and vitamin E. So the Aveeno won this category also pretty easily. Then we get to uh, performance protection. Biosense, in my opinion, is probably geared towards those with dry, normal, maybe slightly oily or combination skin because it does feel very hydrating. It works well all day without accentuating dry patches or looking too greasy. Those with oilier skin uh, mentioned it was a bit too hydrating for them. But uh, the other nice thing about this one is reapplying it is super easy. No issues with pilling. And overall, this one's going to be tough for reapplication because this one is probably one of the best. So we'll see who can beat them. But anyway, then we get to Aveeno. Uh, once it's applied and smoothed in, it's okay. Throughout the day, the longer you wear it, if you have any dry patches, it can begin to accentuate them a bit. Reapplication with it is a chore and unfun and just totally unenjoyable. Uh, but it does a great job protecting against sun damage. But for performance and protection, I gave the point to Biosense solely because 
the reapplication process is so much easier for that and with the vino it's just a terrible chore that you never want to do like making your bed when you're little then we get to price so the biosense is 1.7 ounces 50 milliliters and retails for 30 dollars which uh, equals 60 cents per milliliter making it one of the moderately expensive sunscreens then we get to the vino two ounces uh, 59 milliliters uh, and it retails for eight dollars so it's affordable which makes it 14 cents a milliliter which i think makes it the most affordable one out of all of these so that's a nice feature especially if you don't want to spend 30 dollars on something but sometimes you get what you pay for i don't know if you're very on a strict budget and need a good sunscreen k beauty brands have some great ones so that's probably the direction i would send you because you can get some great sunscreens for a very affordable price uh, okay, then we get to It Factor, the Biosense. Really nice application process, super easy to reapply. Fragrance-free, alcohol-free, cruelty-free. Oh, I didn't talk about cruelty-free status. Let me get to that. I'm sorry. I got too excited. Okay, uh, cruelty-free status. Biosense is cruelty-free. Avino is not. Okay, so uh, the Biosense, fragrance-free, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, moderately affordable. Love the reapplication process. Love that feels hydrating. Uh, I like that they have some beneficial ingredients in there. So it's very nice. The Aveeno It Factor, it does offer some of the highest SPF protection for a zinc only sunscreen. However, it's not easy to reapply and the initial application is unenjoyable as well. So for the It Factor, I pretty easily gave that point to Biosense. So then we get to the total points, including the ties. Biosense has 10 points and the Avino has four. So this one's a pretty easy matchup. Biosense pretty handily won. Uh, yeah. So they will go on to compete against the Akira in the next round, but be sure to check out tomorrow's matchup. We're getting close to the end of the first round, which is going to be the Mad Hippie Facial SPF against the Kula Sun Silk. And then the day after that will be the May Love Sun Protector against the Apu Sicative SPF. So be sure to check those out. Anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you have a chance to try uh, either of these or both of these and what your thoughts are. So uh, definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys.